Now, one of the country's uh, best-loved stately homes, Chatsworth House in Derbyshire, has opened a renewable energy centre which will provide nearly all of its electricity and heating. The ambitious project was paid for by an attic sale of some of the house's treasures. Yes, it was quite some attic sale. It will not only save money, it will also massively reduce Chatsworth's carbon footprint. Our correspondent, Peter Bean reports. An historic country house is facing up to a very modern challenge. Chatsworth, seat of the Duke of Devonshire, is taking a lead in the fight against climate change. It's been a long time coming, but we're even more excited now than it's happening. Lord Burlington, the Duke's son, opened the new centre with his father looking on. Their ancestral home now facing a more sustainable future. <laughs> The centre works using trees which would have been cut down anyway as part of managing the estate's woodland. The timber is chopped into wood chips, which then travel along a conveyor belt into a large cylinder. Here they're converted into a gas, which passes through the system and drives this generator. A computer keeps tabs on how well it's performing. The system will provide 97% of Chatsworth's electricity needs and 72% of its heating. It'll be a huge saving. We're using wood from the forest just up the, there, which would be probably useless otherwise. So it's a sort of win-win, and it's a big investment. It's taken a while to come to fruition, but it's very exciting. It's estimated there'll also be carbon savings of 1,300 tonnes a year. That cancels out nearly all the emissions from cars bringing visitors to the house. Students from Alfreton Grange Arts College have been following the project and say it's inspiring. People that aren't, you know, involved in the community of scientists and stuff can see how people are trying to improve the environment and how they're trying to save the world. The centre, which cost two and a half million pounds, was paid for with the proceeds of an attic sale. Three years ago, the Duke auctioned off thousands of treasures from his collection in an autumn clear-out. Everything in that cell was actually recycled. They've all gone to new homes where they'll be treasured and enjoyed, and so there was no waste there. They were just piled up upstairs in the attics, and that wasn't any good to anybody. They turned us into a, a much better, greener place, and they've given a lot of clothes to the people who bought them, so it's good. A place steeped in the past may be pointing the way for the future. Peter Bian, ITV News, Derbyshire.